Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson from Nelson Hilliard and here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. I'd like to thank you all for all your support on social media about last week's news. And please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. This week, the US suffered one of its worst hurricanes. Hurricane Irma hit the Florida Keys on Sunday as a Category 4 storm and has resulted in severe flooding in Northeast Florida as well as 10 fatalities from Florida to South Carolina as to date. TechData's core ERP system and ordering tools are unavailable due to widespread power and communication outages after Hurricane Irma. More than 6.5 million account holders across Florida were without power as of Monday afternoon according to the state's emergency management officials. Joe Quagley, as TechData's President of America, said, we continue to work closely with our network service providers to resolve the connection issues and are ranked high in the prioritized queue to have connectivity issues restored quickly. On the 12th of September, Google went down in certain parts of the world. Complaints came from users in France and the UK and parts of North America and reported that Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive and Google Maps were down. Google Maps official Twitter account told some users that the company is aware of the issue and is working to resolve it soon. The actual cause of the outage has yet to be determined. This week saw one of HPE's most popular data center success stories with Hewlett Packard's enterprise CEO Meg Whitman joining the board of directors at Dropbox. Meg had, up until recently, been a candidate for the Uber CEO position. And Dropbox CEO Drew Houston said in a blog post that Whitman had been a trusted friend and advisor for many years. Her experience and judgment will be invaluable to Dropbox as we continue to grow and scale. So congratulations Meg on your move to Dropbox. A featured story sent in this week is from the Australian based company Hyperscalers. Hyperscalers has now been recognized by the Department of Innovation for its R&D efforts to develop both a design process and a utility being the Virtual Machine Performance Management Utility or VMPMU. Together they assist developing and proving designs for cloud-based large-scale customer infrastructures aka appliances. These holistic plug-and-play appliances become deliverable on any data center floor quickly, reliably, and at a fraction of the historical costs. Operating out of their headquarters in Australia, as well as offices in the USA, Europe, and Papua New Guinea, Hyperscalers is an authorized distributor and service agent for Quanta Computer Incorporated, specializing in public and private cloud solutions. The company offers a big thank you to Ananea Sinner, the CTO, as well as Access R&D Tax Solutions, in particular, Dave Samet and Rod Campbell. Well done, all you guys, on your hard work. And thanks for sending us this great news. Atlassian co-founder and co-CEO, Mike Cannon-Brooks, has thrown his support behind Bright, leading the home energy fintechs 4 million in Series A round of funding through his venture capital business, Grok Ventures. Bright, which is based in Sydney, is a digital credit platform that provides on-the-spot finance for home energy improvements, allowing homeowners to access solar panels, insulation and batteries without incurring the upfront costs of installation, which is typically between $9,000 and $15,000. Founded by ex-Macquarie manager Catherine McConnell in 2015, Bright has achieved an average growth of 49% month on month in its first 10 months of operation. This week, Hewlett Packard Enterprise has announced it is to acquire Cloud Technology Partners, or CTP, to extend its cloud consulting presence and beef up its hybrid IT capabilities. Cloud Technology Partners, whose SVPs include the renowned thought leader David Limpicum, have specialisms in the variety of environments, including Amazon Web Services. Anna Pinkzuk, SVP and GM for HPE Pointnext, explained CTP is consulting design and operational advisory services for cloud environments will strengthen our hybrid IT consultancy expertise in fast growing markets. Together we will be even better positioned to capitalize on the market trend. Pinkzuk added the CTP team has built a strong customer momentum and will be able to accelerate that momentum by leveraging HP's global brand. 
Congratulations to you, David, and the CTP team. This week saw AI can tell if you're gay. Artificial intelligence predicts sexuality from one photo with startling accuracy. A report by two Stanford University researchers can predict the sexual orientation using computer technology. The research by Dr. Mikhail Kosinski and Yuan Wang will be published by the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology and say that AI can distinguish between the face of a heterosexual man and a homosexual man in 81% of cases and for women the predictive accuracy is 71%. When the scientists presented the algorithm with five facial images for a single person, the accuracy increased to 91% for men and 83% for women. Kosinski and Wang used deep neural networks to sample over 35,000 facial images for men and women taken from a dating site. This week saw Atlassian make a massive play to take on Microsoft and Slack. Stride is the successor of the very popular HipChat WorkChat app. It's designed to make it easy to switch between text chatting and video conference meetings. The Australian tech giant, which is now worth 7.86 billion US dollars, purchased the chat startup back in 2012, and now it is one of the most popular chat tools in Silicon Valley and beyond, with customers including Tesla, Expedia, and recently Uber. There has been in recent years stiff competition from Slack, but Stride has been totally rewritten from the ground up using more modern technologies. Atlassian co-CEO Mike Cannon Brook said, the rebuilding from scratch was a pretty big decision. Companies already using HipChat will automatically upgrade to Stride for free. Congratulations on your new branding guys, looks pretty cool. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Computing News Highlights. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. And also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and a big thank you to Hyperscalers for submitting that featured story this week. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well done guys. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.